Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. This is the week one fantasy basketball updates and everything you guys need to know about the upcoming week and the week before if you're a fantasy basketball league. Y'all ready to get into it? Three, two, one, let's get it. Let's go. Boom. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to Easy Buckets, guys. We are a fantasy basketball channel. What we do here is talk about fantasy basketball, trades, and just everything about basketball. And what's special that I do here is I actually message you guys on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So if you guys need any advice for trading, anything for your fantasy leagues, guys, go follow me on Instagram at easy.buckets, and I'll surely message you guys back if you guys send me a direct message. But also, guys, this is the first segment of this series because fantasy basketball is about 20 weeks to 25 weeks. I'm going to be making a video every single week, usually during the end or the beginning of the next week to give you guys the updates trades just everything you guys need to know so make sure you guys put on the notification bell because you guys do not want to miss any of these videos that will be coming i'm going to be aiming to post these videos either on a saturday night or a sunday so keep that in mind guys and also just be ready for that hope you guys are really enjoying your first fantasy basketball week if you guys won congratulations guys if you guys lost send me a dm let's see what i can do to help you guys out but remember as the year just started so don't panic and don't make any rash decisions guys because because patience is always key to a great fantasy win other than that, guys, let's go straight to this update. The first thing I want to talk about is the important injuries of the week, guys. So recently, guys, we've had many injuries, but the most important injuries that came up so far are these kind of players that I'll be listing in this list. We got Chris Paul out two games. We got Brandon Ingram out four games, and Rajon Rondo out two games with suspension, guys. So suspensions are also kind of injuries. They're basically not going to be playing for you guys, and that's what injuries are all about. Players not playing for your fantasy teams. Dwight Howard right now has no timetable to return. He's having back problems, guys, and he is not traveling with the Wizards, guys. So that's not good news. For Dwight Howard owners, in my opinion, this could be a two to three week injury. So keep that in mind, guys. So if you guys have an IR list, put Dwight Howard in the IR list. Harrison Barnes is expected to miss two more games with his hamstring injury. What that means, he might not be able to play for most of the games for this week, guys. But still, he is still a hold for your fantasy roster because when he comes back, he'll still be putting up the numbers you guys want from Harrison Barnes. Rookie Kevin Knox got hit with the injury on his ankle, guys. He is expected to be out at least one week, which means, guys, in my opinion, he'll be a one to two weeks. That is about seven games, guys. So so you, Kevin Knox wasn't really doing well, so you have a chance to drop him, drop him, but pick him back up later after one and almost two weeks time. Will Barton is expected to go into injury, guys. Yes, Will Barton was one of the players we expected to be a nice breakup player in the mid round value, but he is out five to six weeks to a surgery and should be back better than ever guys so you have an injury list put him there but if not drop him guys you guys do not want to be holding a player up for more than a month and a half and the last person on this list is John Collins guys he is expected back in less than one week to two weeks so John Collins is currently out with an ankle injury so if you have John Collins put or put him in the IR but when he comes back John Collins is going to be a great mid-round value player as we all expect him to be and now switching topics guys we are going to be going talking about the trade targets I'm going to be giving you guys three players who you guys should be targeting when you guys are trading and these three players are Nikola Miritich, Josh Richardson and Zach Levine. Nikola Miritich if you guys seen in this past two games with the Pelicans guys he has scored 30 plus points in the first two games guys and that shows that his usage rate and spreading the floor for Anthony Davis is going to be really crucial to the Pelicans guys so if you have a chance to get Nikola Miritich for cheap before he really blows up even higher and shows more consistency get Nikola Miritich guys trade away your six round seven round value player do a two for two or something but Miritich is a really good target for points and three point percentages Josh Richardson on the other hand is the guy for the Miami Heat guys he is the player that Eric Spoelstra is going to go to he has the highest usage rate on that team and before Josh Richardson becomes a really great top 30 fantasy basketball player get him now because his owners are really gonna try to sell him high because he did play really good games in his first few games I love Josh Richardson guys I'm trying to get him myself and you know what guys I suggest he is gonna be one of your best players in your target trade list and Zach Levine of course guys averaged 30 points he scored 30 points plus 20 points in both all his games he's played he has the highest rate and usage for the Chicago Bulls guys so you have a chance to get Zach Levine get him now because he's gonna have a great future and he's my personally belief to be the best player and also win the most improved player by the end of the year I have three players on this list to trade away guys these players are not going to be giving you guys the best fantasy basketball numbers because they are going to be and are being put in situations where it's different from last year the three players are Lou Williams Paul Millsap and Dennis Schroeder with Lou Williams guys yes he is still the sixth man coming off the Clippers bench but I believe that now the Clippers are a little bit more deep with Tobias Harris healthy with their rookie getting a lot of PT Lou Williams will give you 15 plus points but he will definitely be not giving you guys the 22 points per game last year as he given you for the Clippers that were down some players then 
Dennis Schroeder was great for the first few games, but now Russell Westbrook is back. Guys. And you guys know Russell Westbrook always plays plus 35 minutes. He takes up the most of the usage rate of everybody off that team. Westbrook is back. Trade Schroeder before his value goes to completely zero. And Paul Melissa, guys, has really been not playing that well, guys. Yes, he gets the minutes, but also Denver does not really look towards him on the offensive side and is looking towards him to be using on the defensive side more often. So if you can swap Millsap for a player as Horford, maybe Ibaka, a player that does both offense and defense, that will be great for you guys because Paul Millsap is getting old and also not going to be a really great fantasy player in the long run for you guys. And now talking about the waiver wires of the week, guys, we got these guys are players that are coming off the wire that will decently be good for your fantasy teams at a late round point of view. The three players are Alex Lang, Jordan Clarkson, and Malik Monk. The reason why Alex Lang is on this list is because Deadman is injured and is not expected to be back anytime soon. But when Len, guys, if you guys seen his monster game, his double double with four blocks, guys, a few assists, and Len seems to be that guy for the Atlanta Hawks at that center position. If you guys watched my most breakout videos in one of my first videos of the year, Alex Len was one of those players that I believe is gonna break out and be really good this year. And for those haters out there that told me easy, that was not a good choice, Len will not be good. I'm telling you guys now, Len is good and he's proving it to everybody out there. So pick up Len immediately for blocks and a big one that will give you good double double on nightly basis. Jordan Clarkson is also coming off the bench for the Cavaliers guys but if you guys watch the games the Cavs are playing they are down an offensive player and Jordan Clarkson is that player coming off the bench giving a really high usage rate to get a lot of shots and will give you threes and some points so if you need a player at a low end value to give you threes and points Clarkson is the guy for you because he's taking plus 10 shots a game no matter what. Malik Monk of course guys, is also coming off the bench for the Hornets guys but he is the sixth man off the bench he's the future of the Hornets and Malik Monk is scoring plus and he's in the same situation as Jordan Clarkson shooting plus 10 points a game so you have a chance I want a low end value player that gets a lot of minutes plus 25 a game Malik Monk is for you that will give you threes some flashes of assists and also points as well so I hope you guys really enjoyed that video guys that was the week one fantasy basketball update stay tuned for more fantasy basketball updates and fantasy basketball videos but once again if you enjoyed the video hit give me a thumbs up button and also comment down what you guys think about this week and also guys once again if you're new hit that subscribe button guys and join the easy game but other than that guys take it easy god bless and I'll see you guys next time on easy buckets Woo! Uh, I feel like Usain in the cheetah print talk fresh game I don't need a minute the game, Shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got the deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots. I'm a keen with it, like, no, no, this league business.